Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving a more in-depth review of the Coach Parker, including what fits and mod shots and all that great stuff. So stay tuned. So this is made out of Napa leather and this is the pewter and black one. Loving the matte hardware. I like how it kind of looks edgy, but also classy with all the riveting and the blacks. So originally, this is $495, but during the Coach Summer Sale, um, I got this for $297. The inside is a nice ox blood. It is fabric, according to the website. It is not suede or anything like that. It's fabric and a nice zipper. Love coach zippers. So buttery. Like you know it just won't catch. Very nice quality. So let's see what fits. I have my coach wristlet. This, th look at how stuffed this is, you guys. This is my coach wristlet. I keep a lot in here so I can just slip it into other bags when I wanna change out baggages a lot. So I can just show you what I have in here. Have my hand sanitizer. My contact lens solution, rewetting stuff. Chapstick with SPF. More chapstick, but this is tinted. More lip stuff. And we have, oh yeah, I have this little pen from this resort we went to in December. perfume thing roller more lip stuff you guys this is the winky lux this is probably gonna look gross but this is the one that tints your lips without uh, supposedly naturally so it really does it really does tint your lips like a natural flushed color I really like it but it tastes kind of weird it's, it's like really bitter and stuff so not that you should eat it but like you know you can't help but lick your lips sometimes and then hair tie and this stuff is like emergency but it doesn't have sugar in it and it's way better and I swear I haven't gotten sick since I've had taken this whenever I felt like maybe my nose was stuffy or my throat was feeling sore I would take this two, three days in a row and I just end up not getting sick. I actually don't remember the last time I got sick. So yeah, that's one, well, that is what is in here. You know, this could probably sit out. It makes it bulky too much. So I don't remember, quite remember how I usually put it. So I probably put this right, well, I probably put this up front here because it's like the biggest and that leaves room for my hand sanitizer. And then I have gum on me all the time. And this I usually don't keep with me, but I thought for review purposes, we'll see if like you wanted to bring a pack of mints to see how it fits with everything else. So I'll stick this in here. Then I have my key holder. It's a dupe. It's not really a Louis Vuitton one. But I have my key in here. It has a keychain too, just like the Louis Vuitton one. And then I have a few cards in here. The other day I ran out to go grab something and I didn't want to bring my whole bag, so I just stuck it in here. So we'll stick this back here, I guess. I feel like I should be starting with the bigger items first, so we'll see how this works out. And this is the coach small wallet that I also got during a summer sale and I will do a review on this later but it's a little tiny wallet 
And then this one is going to be challenging. This is my sunglasses case. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I don't think I would actually put it like this, but let's see if it'll fit this. Yep. And the turn lock closes a lot easier, obviously, when there's stuff in it. I notice when there's nothing in this bag, I can barely close, like even when I push it in really far and I'm afraid I'm damaging the leather when I do that, I cannot get this to, cannot get the turn lock to close. So obviously you either will have this bag full or if you're not using it, you should always be stuffing it with something to make sure that the leather doesn't sag. You never want to keep your bag stored just completely, or your leather bag stored just completely empty like that. So. But I probably would rearrange it differently. I don't want my sunglasses just being on top of everything else. So I think usually what I have been doing is I've just been putting my sunglasses up front here. And I think like that. I don't remember. And that leaves room for gum. Again, I don't usually bring mints, but just for purposes of this review, if you do bring mints with you in addition to your gum, I guess, it does fit pretty well. Oh shoot, I forgot my hand sanitizer. Very important now. <laughs> yeah, the turn lock isn't very easy, you guys, just so you know. It's not like a you know, you have to like press it in pretty hard sometimes and like wiggle it around. So there's no bulging really. The back looks fine. Oh, already a scratch. I mean, it kind of bulges a little bit back here. Like you can see this is sticking out a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot the phone, my phone. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I'm using this phone to film, so I'm just gonna use my case. Let's see how it fits. I would prefer to keep the phone inside my bag as opposed to in the back flap, just cause I'm paranoid about someone stealing it. Yeah, so the phone fits nicely back here. Let's see how it looks like when we close this up. Oops. I kinda wanna cut this wristlet thing off. It's kind of in the way I would never use this just as a wristlet, so. See, the turn lock is tricky, you guys. <laughs> I just feel bad pushing on it really hard. Well, it's not really closing. I don't know what it is. I don't know why not. I mean, everything's aligned. I don't wanna break it. I can't close the turn lock. Maybe if I move this like up here, I don't know. Back here, maybe. I mean, it closed the first time. There we go. So whatever the reason was, it was not closing until I shuffled things around. Let's see how the back looks. It still looks a little bulgy. It does a little bit, but it's not too bad, you know? So this appears to scratch very easily. I have not had this for very long. Like I've worn it around maybe seven or eight times. And yeah, I don't know what that would have been scratching on. I tried to be careful with this, especially cause it's new. So that's kind of a bummer. But for the quilting at least, it's more forgiving in the front. So as you can see, you don't see any scratches up front here. I also wanted to show you guys if this could fit a full size wallet instead of my little mini one in case you prefer a full size wallet. So let's take her out. I think we should take everything out. So here I have my Louis Vuitton zippy wallet so let's see I maybe might put it here 
So this is about seven inches long, maybe seven and a half. I'm not totally sure, but here it slides very nicely in here and leaves a little bit of room up here. Of course, my little wristlet. My keys. Mm, my sunglasses. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Very important. Gum. Phone. So it didn't fit the, I couldn't close the term lock last time I put my phone back here, but we shall see. So it is a tight fit, you guys. It is a tight fit. It's looking kind of, okay. So I can't close this. <laughs> so what I end up doing is I get rid of this case. I prefer to use a case with my sunglasses just because I have a habit of breaking them and bending them. So what I do is if the case does not work out, I have this little pouch here that I slide my sunglasses in if it does not fit. So these sunglasses I got from Amazon. They were like $14 and I can link it down below, but these are the best sunglasses. Like they're so classic looking. They feel, they're the most comfortable glasses I have ever had. And it was like $14. I love these sunglasses. So even though they're $14, I take really good care of them because I don't want anything to happen to them. I just buy more on Amazon just in case. So I put them in this little pouch and this should fit much better. Ta-da! Let's see. This turn log. <laughs> Maybe I need to shift something around. I'm not sure what. Maybe this can go back here so I don't crush it two for one. Okay, let's see here. I don't know why I can't close the turn lock. There we go. All right. So yeah, fits great. You could even fit. Oh, I forgot my hand sanitizer. That's really important. So there you go. And it kind of hurts my hand a little bit trying to force it closed. I still can't get it. I mean, kind of. So anyway, the, the cons are the turn lock is not very forgiving unless it's filled perfectly just right. I have had this worn as a crossbody and it's not particularly comfortable. So if you use the one strap like this, and I'll show you in the mod shots, just with like one, I think this is too thin to be comfortable with just one strap on you. And it looks kind of awkward because the straps are so small and it's so close together and this is so big and wide. It kind of looks awkward on my particular frame, I think, on, on my body. So I did not like how it looked and it was not comfortable. I prefer wearing it with two straps on one shoulder. But it is nice to have the option to wear it crossbody if you just want, you know, a free hand. So yeah, anyway, I have mod shots coming right up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Coach Parker. If you did, please click the thumbs up and subscribe for when I post more reviews. Until next time, see you later.